The most important element is learning to work with rather than against the inevitable line belly that develops with this technique. In faster flows, that belly is what pulls your fly downstream. Each time you give a rod tip twitch, it transfers through line belly down to the fly. Too much of a rod tip twitch will jerk the line off the surface and yank the fly violently through the water column. Too little of a twitch and it won't be enough to hop that fly that enticing 8 to 10 inch distance. Fly weight is also critical for the hop. Too much and it snags frequently. Too little and the fly is swept quickly downriver without ever reaching bottom. Hook sets need to be extremely forceful with so much line bow. Keeping the rod tip low within 3 feet of the surface and following the indicator with the tip are both important in hook setting and keeping the line belly to manageable proportions. Here's what the long hop looks like from outside the boat. This is an illustration of the 70 foot hop. Wading anglers can also do long hops if they're positioned correctly. So learning to carefully watch for all the telltale quivers, twitches, pauses, or bobs of a strike indicator is one of the smartest things you can do. I got one. Oh, it's just. Oh, oh, oh.